Ken Stratton is our expert in mass spectrometry here at ASMS talking about structural ID. Talk about the software that we've paired up with the new thermoscientific orbitrap fusion. That's actually a very exciting year for us. We're previewing at ASMS this year a new platform which we're calling Compound Discover. This is designed around small molecule structural identification and for us it really tries to tie together a lot of the tools we've had before and improve on them and offer a, a very complete package for customers. We take a viewpoint now of structural identification in small molecules as coming into essentially two sides of a coin. There's the known parent ID and this is the classical areas of something like pharmaceutical metabolite identification where we know something about the chemical nature of what we're looking at. But the other side is then the unknown parent identification. I may know information about the sample, but I know very little about the components in it. What we've been working on now is to develop software tools for processing that can meet both of these needs, and also to develop instrumentation scan functionality that is very, very useful in both of these areas as well. An instrument like the Orbitrap Fusion offers very high resolution accurate mass. The very high resolution I think is important, especially for de novo structure identification. We can begin to separate out some of the fine isotopic pattern, and I learn more about the elemental composition of an unknown from this fine structure. I can count whether or not there's a nitrogen present, and this really allows me to refine my elemental compositions. Aside from the access to the very high resolution and fine isotopic structure, there's Another aspect of the de novo ID, the unknown parent ID, that's very important. We can get a much better idea of what the elemental composition of a compound is, but we don't know anything about the structure yet. For that aspect, we're building what we call MZ Cloud. And this is a consortium of fragmentation data on a wider range of compounds in areas of plant metabolomics, mammalian metabolomics, impurities, drugs of abuse, etc where we're working with large numbers of contributors from industry, as well as work we do internally, because Thermo Fisher Scientific also sells over 70,000 compounds in our catalog, many of which could be analyzed by mass specs. So we're accessing those as well. The idea is to create a very large fragmentation library, both HCD and CID fragmentation at a wide energy range. This is then like a library of Congress, where you can bring your unknowns fragmentation and search through this and find, if not a match to your unknown, at least relevant information as to what the substructure of it might be or what compounds it might be related to. This then plays with the performance of the instrument, gaining different scan modes and gaining very high resolution data to give you a much better idea of what your unknown is. MZ Cloud actually has a web front end for searching and we will incorporate it also into our applications to make the searching functionality easier. So that sounds really exciting that we've got new software, a new, entirely new instrument. So how do you see those working together and what it's going to do for our customers? I'm very excited with the performance of the new instrument and along the lines of the MZ Cloud Library and the new structure identification software, Compound Discover. I think this is a completely new approach for us and really, really exciting to offer functionality that customers really need. Learn more at thermoscientific.com slash ms transformed.